With a title like Thor Love and Thunder, you'd be forgiven for wondering, will Jane Foster and Thor Odinson be feeling the love for one another as they go off to fight Gore the God Butcher? Will Jane and Thor end up together? It's not like they had an easy time of it in either the Marvel comic book saga or the MCU so far. And with love interest Lady Sif coming back to the scene, are things about to become even more complicated? Well, welcome back to the Mama Saga, where this Marvel-loving mama is a mother by day, but breaks down comic book sagas, movies, and shows like Thor, Love, and Thunder by night. So when it comes to this love story, we first have to consider the comic book saga of Thor and Jane Foster. Okay, so when Jane Foster and Thor first met, she was actually a nurse working for Dr. Donald Blake, who was actually an alter ego of Thor Odinson. So she was in a love triangle with both of them for a time, where Jane had no idea that the two men were really the same person, because that's not awkward at all. And if you don't understand how Thor could have an alter ego super quickly, Odin created the person of Donald Blake and then put Thor's consciousness inside of him as a way of teaching his son humility and compassion. Since Dr. Donald Blake needed a cane to walk, he was an ordinary man doing the hard work of earning a medical degree. And well, gee, Thor was no longer a perfect god of thunder with his consciousness inhabiting such a human vessel then, was he? Eventually, the lesson was learned by Thor, whereupon Odin directed him to Mjolnir, and he otherwise physically became the full-blown, healthy Thor he previously had been. And at some point down the line, Donald Blake came alive as a real person himself, without Thor inhabiting him or his consciousness. But I digress. Jane apparently has a type because at one point she was dating both versions of Thor. But that's okay because... Thor loved Jane so much that he brought her home to Asgard, but Papa Odin was not having it. He tested Jane with godhood, but she found the transition from human to goddess kind of rough, and the fix was in for her to fail because when Odin administered the final test, Jane experienced fear during the course of it, which apparently meant she failed the test, and therefore no more godhood for Jane, and Odin kicked her out of Asgard, wiping her memories of it. Thor freaks out, revolts against his father's decision, and Odin doused him with the Odin force so that, I, I don't know how this worked, but basically Thor just lost the will to fight for the love of his life after that. Lame, right? Then Thor ends up courting Lady Sif, but at the end of the day, things don't work out with Sif because Thor's heart is never 100% in that relationship. Later on, when Jane Foster ends up having cancer, he visits her during her chemotherapy treatments, and the two clearly still have an emotional connection to one another at that point. Long story short, Jane Foster becomes Thor, or Jane Foster Thor, because for a period of time, Thor believes himself to be unworthy and can't pick up Mjolnir as a result. But Jane does and takes his place as Thor to help keep the universe safe. But every time she does so, it renders all of her chemotherapy useless. Eventually, she picks up Mjolnir one last time to fight off Mangog, who is ridiculously powerful, and she wins the battle, but she loses her life as a result. That's okay, though, because ultimately, Odin brings her back from the dead. I mean, seriously, it's the least he could do. I mean, seriously, after screwing with her earlier. <laughs> and after that, Jane becomes the first in a generation of new Valkyries, which pleases Thor because he was mourning the loss of them in battle. So Jane accepted the challenge to become a Valkyrie, and Thor was pleased. Just tell me these two aren't still pining for one another in the comics. But of course, now we have to acknowledge the MCU saga of Thor and Jane Foster. So to start in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Jane isn't a nurse. She's a brilliant astrophysicist working with scholar Dr. Eric Selvig as the two are researching wormholes. You know, easy stuff. When Jane accidentally runs over Thor with a van while he's been banished to Earth by Odin, she helps him acclimate to the planet and its customs and, of course, 
their friendship turns romantic. Because, you know, Thor's hot, so why not? However, by the end of Thor, the movie, Thor Odinson must return to Asgard to assume his godly responsibilities there. But since long-distance relationships are tough, by the time of Thor The Dark World, Jane and Thor aren't together anymore. But thanks to her continuing work studying wormholes, Jane's in Jane encounters one and comes into contact with the Aether, one of the forms of the Reality Stone, one of the six Infinity Stones that Thanos would later collect for his gauntlet to snap half of the universe out of existence. Jane gets super sick because of the ether. Thor finds out and brings her to Asgard to be healed. And when Malekith comes to kill her in order to extract the reality stone from her, Thor's mother Frigga dies defending her. Odin kind of freaks out after having lost his wife, so he throws Jane in prison and uses her to draw Malekith into battle. But Thor and Jane end up using wormholes against Malekith so that he enters into one wormhole to be sent to the planet where he was previously defeated, while another wormhole sends Malekith's ship on a crash landing onto the planet, killing him. Jane and Thor romantically reunite, only to break up later off screen. By the Age of Ultron movie, Thor is telling everyone that he and Jane dumped one another, but he doesn't seem all too happy about their breakup. And from what we've seen in the trailers released for the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder movie, when Thor Odinson and Jane Foster Thor cross paths again with Mjolnir between them, while Jane is all casual, basically saying, oh, hey, what's it been since we've last been together three, four years. Thor specifically spews out eight years, seven months, and six days. Jilted ex-lover much there, Thor Odinson? But here's the deal. If you're watching this video, then you're asking yourself, in the MCU, will Thor and Jane Foster end up together? So here's a few things to take into consideration. First, there's no Odin to get in their way this time. He's no longer doing the Odin sleep. He's gone off to Valhalla because he's dead and gone. However, Lady Sif is set to return to the MCU in the movie Thor Love and Thunder, so uh-oh, are we going to get a love triangle? If you've seen all of the movie trailers, one shows what appears to be Thor and Jane holding hands as they go off to fight Gore the God Butcher. I'm going to assume that's what they were doing at that point in the trailer, since all the color seems to be drained from the screen, which appears to happen every time Gore is around. Sif wasn't with the Warriors 3 when they were killed by Hela, and Kevin Feige has previously said that Loki likely banished Sif to another dimension when he was pretending to be Odin in the movie Thor Ragnarok. However, it's also been said that Sif lost five years of her life thanks to the snap. Either way, Sif's alive and coming back into active duty in the MCU, and maybe, just like in the comics, she's going to become romantically involved with Thor. Sif certainly had feelings for Thor in the original movie. It was kind of obvious she harbored romantic feelings for Thor and was not keen on Jane becoming jealous of her. Although, awkward, Loki composer Natalie Holt confirmed that Loki and Sif slept together before he'd cut her hair as a prank, leading to the replayed scene between the two when in episode four, he stuck in the time loop by Mobius. If Thor got together with Lady Sif after that, uh, ew, but that's just me, folks. But who knows? I'd like to see Thor and Jane end up together in the MCU. Yes, I'm pretty sure Thor will get Mjolnir back. Director and co-writer Taika Waititi did hint that Jane isn't likely to keep Mjolnir and the role of Thor, but there's still Valkyrie in the MCU who likely misses her sisters and is bored being the only one of her kind. So perhaps similar to the comics, there's a way where Jean can become a Valkyrie as opposed to dying of cancer. If that happens, then maybe, just maybe, she and Thor can end up in new Asgard together as a couple. We'll see. Anyway, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and subscribe to the Mama Saga for more comic book saga breakdowns, Salty Mama style. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.